Dear brothers and sisters, this is a homily for the first Sunday of Advent year C. Watch, pray, and stay awake. This is the message for this first Sunday of Advent. The three readings talk about the comings, that is the first coming of Christ and his second coming in glory. During this period of Advent, we are called to prepare ourselves both physically and spiritually so as to welcome Christ in our lives. But why and how can we prepare ourselves and yet Christ already came 2,000 years ago? Why will Christ pass judgment on the last day? As a Christian today, what are we called to do before his second coming? Indeed, these are some of the questions that will be addressed in this homily for the first Sunday of Advent, year C. To begin with, Advent is a term that comes from a Latin word, Adventus, meaning to come. Therefore, liturgically, Advent is a period that lasts four weeks before Christmas in which Christians commemorate one, Jesus' first coming that took place 2,000 years ago, second, as a reminder to wait for his second coming to pass judgment at the end of time. Why is it necessary for us to prepare ourselves during this Advent season? I can illustrate the necessity of preparation by taking an example of an alcoholic person in a family or a drug abuse or even quarrelsome person in the family. Considering this case, this Christian family faces one or two problems. Now, before Christ's second coming, is it in order for this family to celebrate Christmas in that problematic situation? Obviously, no. There is need for reconciliation and forgiveness so that Christ can come in such a family. That is why I am persuaded beyond doubt that during this period of Advent, we are called to watch pray and stay awake. Consequently, physical and spiritual preparation would be in line with the very purpose that Christ came in this world to save us from that which separated us from God. All in all, by the fact that there is disintegration, divisions, and disharmony in our societies, it is enough reason to make us to prepare ourselves, more particularly our hearts. Therefore, it is imperative to watch, pray, and stay awake at all times. The second and the gospel readings talk about Christ's second coming. Furthermore, the gospel described the events at the end of time as in there would be natural chaos that will indicate the end of the world. But at the same time, it will be the time for the second coming of Christ. In reference to some aspects that took place at the beginning of the world, as recorded in the book of Genesis, that is, God restored order by creating the sun, the moon, and the stars. However, on the last day, the world will go back to what it was at the beginning, meaning chaos and disorder. Therefore, the appearance of the Son of Man will bring order and pass judgment. On the other hand, one may ask, why should human beings be judged and yet it is God who created them? By the fact that we are human beings, we are liable to judgment because a person is responsible for his human acts. In a more elaborated way, 
man has freedom to choose between what is good and what is evil. Therefore, he is fully responsible for his actions. In the book of Ben Sirah, chapter 15, verse 14, which says, God in the beginning created human beings and made them subject to their own free choice. Therefore, by the virtue of their liberty or freedom, a human person is responsible for his actions. Now, during this Advent period, what are we called to do before Christmas? And of course, before Christ's second coming. The gospel passage clearly mentioned to watch, pray, and stay awake before his second coming. Moreover, at a given moment, Christ's disciples didn't watch and stay awake. For instance, at midnight in the Garden of Gethsemane. There, Jesus finds some of his disciples asleep. In fact, he told them to keep watch. Mark chapter 14, verse 34. Yes, watch where you go on Sunday. Watch what you do to others. Watch what you read. Watch what you do in your Christian life. Watch how, when, why you pray. Pray to God for forgiveness where you have gone wrong. And above all, stay awake to be sober by doing his will every time. We are reminded on this Sunday before his second coming at the end of time to watch, to pray, and stay awake. To conclude, on the liturgical calendar, Advent is only four weeks before Christmas. But then, between now and Christ's second coming, this could be an extended period of Advent. Let us utilize this period of Advent to watch, to pray, and to stay awake before his second coming. Let us prepare ourselves physically and spiritually so that on Christmas Day we may celebrate and welcome Christ with well-disposed hearts. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday. Like, share,